Great! A new candidate. Are you reading me? Oh, hold on. Ah. Konnichiwa. My name is Kenichi Nakamura. I work for PSP R&D in Tokyo. You can call me Kenny. Pardon me while I scan you. Excellent. Your order reading is off the chart. The perfect candidate. So, I'm running an experiment here and I need your help. The new PSP can help a special person like you see things that no one else can see. Let me prove it. Move around the room with your PSP. Aim at any flat surface, but not a wall, a tabletop, the floor maybe. For this test, you'll get the best results if you aim your camera at a brightly coloured surface. In fact, look for red. A red book, maybe. Like this. Great. If your PSP clicked, that means you found something that the human eye can't see. Okay, you're ready to set your trap. Place it on the red surface you were just using and aim at it. Little hint here, make sure the trap fills the circle on your screen, like I'm doing. Nothing found. Please try a red surface. Great. If your PSP clicked, that means you found something that the human eye can't see. Okay. You're ready to set your trap. Place it on the red surface you were just using and aim at it. Little hint here, make sure the trap fills the circle on your screen, like I'm doing. Wow! Our senses detected this would be easy for you. It's your strong aura. It attracts them to you. Okay, power up the trap. To do so, press the cross button when the seals overlap, like this. Now you try. Invisible detected. Invisible is locked. Oh, a toxy toad. All you need to do is lead him to the trap and my software will do the rest. Aim towards the next lily pad using the directional buttons. Then press and hold the cross button to power his jumps. The longer you hold the cross button, the further he will jump. Start capture. <laughs> 
Good work! Thanks for helping us confirm that these creatures exist where you live too. Imagine my face when I discovered them. Please, prep the Professor Dawson link. Okay. Next, I need to see if you can detect the same types I found here. Or maybe there are new species around you that I haven't discovered. Remember, very few people know these creatures live among us. So let's keep it our little secret. Now, Professor Dawson in Boston can assist us with this next step. You can trust him. The Professor is a good friend and has been researching these creatures' behavior with me. He knows how to handle them. This is so cool, huh? I've just enabled a world map for you. It should be visible on your PSP software. Use the map to connect to the Professor. To rotate the world map, Use the directional button on your PSP. Then press the cross button to connect to someone. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> Excellent! I've been waiting for you. Uh, can you believe these creatures Kenny has discovered? Like magic they are. Magic! But beware! They are not your typical cuddly pet. Watch this. If you poke them, they get aggressive. Fighting seems to be in their DNA. But amazingly, using my PSP, I can control this little creature. It obeys me and seems to understand my commands. Now, I'm going to show you how to battle. Uh, that creature you captured with Kenny, you still have it, uh, correct? Excellent. Now, place your trap on any flat surface. Aim your PSP at it and summon it to battle. Once more, unto the breach! Topsy Toad versus Rattle Raptor. Oh, here you are. Uh, let me tell you the basics of combat. Ready? This is your creature. This is mine. Move around with your PSP to get the best angle. But remember, your life and stamina readouts are always on the top left corner. See? 
Uh, mine are on the right. The top bar is your life. If it reaches zero, battle is over for you. The bottom one is your stamina. You use this when you attack and defend. If it runs out, you won't be able to do anything until it recovers. Now, let me tell you how to attack. Each creature can perform four attacks. Your strong attack inflicts massive damage, but consumes lots of stamina. Your quick attack is less powerful, but super fast, so it's hard for your opponent to stop it. And two basic attacks, which are less deadly, but use very little stamina. You need to use the best attacks to defeat the enemy, but make sure you don't run out of stamina. If you lose all your stamina, your creature will need to rest. And we don't want that in battle, right? Now send me your quick attack. Remember, the square button sends a quick attack. Good. Now, let me show you something different. Send me a strong attack. Uh, that's the triangle button. <laughs> See? I blocked your attack. You can defend any time by holding the L button. When you're defending, your armor stops you losing any life. But defending uses stamina, so make sure you don't use too much of it. Get ready, and try to defend! Well done! Now that's the end of my first lesson. Now come on, try to beat me! Let's fight! Working for a big company rocks. My boss is so excited about these creatures, he's flying me on a private jet to Mumbai. Demo, five-star hotel, snacks. I love snacks. I am meeting top PSP scientists there to see if they can help. You, me, Professor Dawson, we're working on something special. Do you want to help capture more? I sent your PSP info on more creatures I've discovered. Let's see if any of them live near you. Now, some people in Tokyo share our strong aura. They have put together a secret club to battle with their creatures. Make sure you swing by using your world map. My friends will be waiting for you. Good luck! Oh, I almost forgot. My boss wants me to name the creatures. What do you think about Invisimals? Let's <laughs> go. 
Invisible detected. Invisible is locked. Hmm, a jet crab. That's one nasty little invisible. Jet crabs fly around and shoot fireballs. So, to begin with, try to avoid them by swaying your body left and right, like this. Once that's under control, wait till you see a clear shot, then it's time to fire back. Press the cross button to fire. Start capture. You found the flame claw. To capture it, you need to surround it in a wall of fire. Press and hold the R button to squirt flames. Then quickly draw a circle around him before he runs off. Invisible has been captured. Oh, keep an eye on the fuel gauge on the top of the screen. If it's empty, shake the PSP to fit it back up. Start capture. Invisible escaped. Start capture. Invisible has been captured.
versus Porcupine. Let's fight! Versus Chop Chop. Let's fight! Stamina. Versus Porcupine. 
Let's fight! Low stamina! 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 Versus Porcupine. <laughs> Let's fight. Versus Porcupine. Let's fight. Low stamina. Low stamina.
<laughs> Hello, <laughs> invisibles, invisible animals that only you and uh, your PSP can see. Oh, Kenny is a genius. I've uncovered more abilities in these invisibles. You know, of course, uh, we can do battle with them. Uh, so by tweaking the PSP, I've actually found that I can influence their reality, a parallel universe which I have called the wave. You too can enter the wave and interact with your PSP, no matter where you are in the world. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> so for example, in the middle of combat, I can help my invisible do special combat moves. Let me show you. It's elementary, my aura enhanced friend. This is Rattle Raptor. See what my invisible can do with a little help? Vector Earthquake. Awesome, isn't it? We call them Vectors, and they can help you win battles. Uh, let me teach you first to use basic Vectors. Here, have a life pack. Life packs heal your invisible. Your vectors are shown here. If you have a vector, just press the R button to use it. Now heal your invisible using the life pack. Well life. done! See? Your invisible has been healed. Now let's try something more complicated. Powerful vectors need you to learn something special. But they are so powerful, it's worth it. Trust me. I've given you an earthquake vector. To move among your items, use the up and down directional buttons. Now find the earthquake. Here you are. Well done. Now... Let's use it. Start off as you did with a life pack by pressing the R button. Then follow the instructions on the bottom of the screen. Earthquake. Shake your PSP. Earthquake. Well done. See, you have crushed my invisible with your earthquake. There is a lot to learn, but I'll make sure you get instructions on new vectors when you find them. Use them well. They are the key to victory. You win! I'm sure we'll soon discover more skills to help our invisibles battle. But for now, take these two earthquakes and life attack and go to the Tokyo Club and defeat Akira but be careful he's the best player at the club rumor has it that his strong aura has gone to his head is your aura stronger play on
versus Rattle Raptor. Let's fight! You win! Ah! Come to test the Tokyo Club's best player, huh? You must be the one Kenny cannot stop talking about! Here to battle the master, are you? Get ready to I bet you're scared. You can always battle some of my friends instead. Ready? Let's battle, newbie! Come on! Jet Crown versus Snapper. Let's fight.
versus Ice Lion. Let's fight! Low stamina! Low stamina! Low stamina! Low stamina. Low stamina. Low stamina. Low stamina. Versus you win. Versus you win.
versus Bad Zerker. Let's fight! Earthquake! Shake your PSP! Earthquake! Vector! Earthquake! Vector!